some of the basic colors, patterns, and markings of different types of birds is very important. Some field guides are marked by color, therefore noting colors can greatly narrow down the birds you have to look through to find the one you saw. Knowing whether the bird has spots on its back or streaks on its breast and belly are also key points to note. Let's look through the different types of birds learned in the last episode. Hummingbirds Generally, hummingbirds are white or some shade of brown, blue, or green overall, but some are other colors, such as red. They may have varying patterns and markings, but the important thing to note is that they have shiny iridescent colors on parts of their body. These brilliant colors are often found on the head and throat, but can be almost anywhere. Which one is the most spectacular of all 352 species is quite subjective. Whether it's an Anna's hummingbird, a Rivoli's hummingbird, or a ruby topaz hummingbird, all were created to be beautiful in their own way. Songbirds Songbirds come in many different colors. Because this type includes more than half of all bird species, it's difficult to cover everything about them. Overall colors contain different shades of many colors, including, but not limited to, brown, yellow, black, white, gray, red, green, blue, and orange. Then there are birds such as the male painted bunting that can look like they have nearly every color of the rainbow. Within the order of songbirds, there are some helpful points. Sparrows are generally more earth tone colors. This helps them blend in with the brush where they often love to hide. Warblers, orioles, and tanagers are generally brightly colored with some exceptions, making them some of the most beautiful songbirds. Each bird has something to tell them apart, though it may not always be a color, pattern, or marking. Woodpeckers Generally, overall colors of woodpeckers are white or black or various shades of gray, green, brown, red, and orange. Some woodpecker species have spots or barring on their backs, while some have streaks, barring, or spots on their breasts and bellies. Still others have solid color backs or breasts and bellies. Species such as the North American pileated woodpecker have markings enabling you to tell apart males and females. Shorebirds with shorebirds, while a few have bright colors, many are drab. Overall colors generally include brown, gray, white, black, and some shades of rust colors. Shorebirds often have many different patterns and markings, whether it be barring, streaks, stripes, spots, or some other pattern. When attempting to identify shorebirds, you must pay close attention to little details, as some species can look nearly identical. Waiting birds. Wading birds are generally white, black, various shades of brown, gray, blue, or reddish colors. Some of the smaller herons may have specific patterns on their back and wings. Bitterns generally have long streaks on their throat. Looking at the color of bills, legs, and feet may help you tell apart similar species, such as some of the white egrets. Seabirds Black, brown, white, and gray are usually the overall colors of seabirds. While some seabirds are a solid color or two darker colors combined, many are a combination of two colors, usually light below and darker above. Some are white with the top of their wings dark, while others just have dark colors on their primaries and or secondaries. As with shorebirds, many seabirds can look nearly identical, so it's necessary to pay attention to all the markings and get pictures if possible. Swimming birds Swimming birds are generally black, white, shades of red, orange, gray, and brown. Barring, spots, streaks, patches, stripes, and mottled are usually the main patterns and markings on these birds. Some swimming birds have very unique bills with colors such as pink, yellow, blue, and red, not counting the usual colors of gray or silver and black. Chicken-like birds. Overall, chicken-like birds are shades of black, brown, red, gray, blue, and green. Patterns generally consist of spots, streaks, stripes, speckles, and barring. Peafowl, specifically the males called peacocks, also have what look like eyes on their long tail feathers. 
raptors. Various shades of gray, black, brown, white, and red are the overall colors of raptors. The patterns vary between spots, large and small, streaks, and barring. Many raptors have horizontal stripes on their tails as well. It is not uncommon for juveniles of many hawk species to have streaks that the adults don't. Similar species, such as the sharp shinned hawk and Cooper's hawk, require an observant eye to correctly tell them apart. Owls Owls are generally gray or brown overall, with a few exceptions, such as the snowy owl, which is white, but may have gray barring. Barring, spots, streaks, and speckles are the usual patterns on these birds. An interesting thing to note is that owls with dark eyes are nocturnal, and owls with orange or yellow eyes are active more around dawn or dusk, though there are a few exceptions to that rule. Learning the basic colors, patterns, and markings is helpful when compared with the other techniques in the series, but this is just what you need to know as you are starting your birding journey.